Welcome back to Keeping an Eye on China. Today, we've got some pressing news about China that's been making headlines recently. If you've been following the global economic landscape, you might have heard about China's real estate troubles and the ripple effects it's causing. Stick around, because we're diving deep into what's happening and what it could mean for China's future. First up, China's real estate bubble. It's been looming for a while, and now it seems like it's finally popping. Despite the Chinese government's efforts to prop up the housing market with monetary injections, the International Monetary Fund IMF, is forecasting a continued slowdown in the Chinese economy. The IMF report predicts a 4.6% annual growth rate in 2024, down from 5.2% in 2023, with a further drop to 3.4% by 2028. The housing sector is taking a hit, with housing starts plummeting over 60% from pre-pandemic levels. According to the IMF, this pace is comparable to the largest housing busts in the past three decades. The stock markets in Shanghai and Shenzhen reflect this economic turmoil, with losses in the worst week in five years for Shanghai's benchmark composite index. Adding fuel to the fire is the recent court-ordered liquidation of China Evergrande, one of China's largest real estate developers with over $300 billion in liabilities. This move underscores the deepening troubles in China's property sector, which accounts for nearly a third of the country's economic activity. But it's not just the economy that's causing concern. China is also grappling with demographic challenges. The infamous one-child policy has left the country with a generation of young men facing difficulties in finding partners. This demographic imbalance, shared by Japan and parts of Europe, could potentially lead to social unrest. Now, let's talk about the political side of things. It's easy to point fingers at China's communist system, and indeed, it plays a role. However, the demographic challenges and economic struggles also raise questions about the Chinese government's ability to address the needs of its people. While the CCP may be in a position of power, recent data reveals that while the annual household income in urban households was roughly 50,000 yuan, $6,900, the household income for rural areas was on 22,000 yuan, $3,066. China finds itself at a crossroads with a troubled real estate market, economic slowdown, and demographic imbalances. The question remains, can China navigate these challenges peacefully, or are we headed towards social unrest? Only time will tell, but it's essential to keep a close eye on these developments and their potential global implications. As always, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay informed.